the Liverpool fanzine. Only two pound, folks. Come on. John Pearman, editor of Red All Overland, the longest serving Liverpool fanzine, the only surviving Liverpool fanzine. John, you've got a Jürgen special issue out. Yep. Um, in full colour. Talk to us about that first. This is uh, the fan zone um, tribute to Jürgen for the uh, eight, eight and a half years that he's been here. It seems a lot longer. Um, it's been incredible at this club. It's not just for this club, but this city. And what he's done is un unbelievable. It's incredible. And all I can say is we'll never see us like a game. I mean, you've been here through many, many years, seen some of the, the best managers Liverpool Football Club have ever had. Where does Jürgen sit alongside? He's, he's got to be on a par with Shankly. It's got to be. Not, not for you. The, it's just his, his whole attitude. It's a socialist. This is a socialist city, and uh, he fits the bill. Like Shankly was from Scotland, but he was a socialist, and his outlook on life is very much the same as Jurgen's. He puts the fans first, the team, and then the rest of after that. So yeah, all I can say is Jurgen's leaving Liverpool. Liverpool will never leave Jurgen. What's your Number one memory, your light bulb memory that you're going to think of on your deathbed, thinking about Jürgen? Uh, blimey, hey, there's too many. Um, I'd, I'd last a few years long if I kept thinking of them all. Um, I, I think the, the Barcelona night is all, all obviously something special. But if I've got one lasting memory, it's Divo Origi's last second goal and him running on the pitch. That, that was it, because I stood down, I didn't even know it was a goal. And all of a sudden, everybody went crazy around us. Yeah, that's that's my memory. That's my memory. And such a Jurgen moment. No other yeah. manager would have done no, that. No. Got carried away, showing that he is not just a football manager, but almost one of us. Yeah, it probably cost him about eight thousand quid in a fine. I don't know, but uh, yeah, he is, he is one of us, and that's the thing. You know, if he comes back, get him a seat on the cop. I'm sure he'll he'll be more than welcome. And uh, just finally, if you want to tell anybody who is watching this, what is the what is the reason for buying a fanzine? Why are they so important to fan culture? Fanzines are the voice of the fans. You, you know, it's it's the last last um, pedestal we've got to stand on. You know, you can't write a letter to the Echo anymore. You can't write anything into the program. The fanzine is the voice of the fans. It's for the fans. It's by the fans. And long may it continue. I wish there were more of us.